Do you ever worry what other people think, either about you or, or something you did? And do you worry about what other people might think of something you're planning to do? And does that sometimes hold you back? Would you do more, be more, make a, a bigger impact in the world if, if you didn't constantly worry about what other people are thinking? Well, I'm guessing if you're being honest with yourself that the answer is yes. And I, I know for me, I, I, I've spent a big part of my life, both, both as a kid and, and as an adult, like being overly concerned about what other people might think. And, and I'm trying to change that, and, and although I'm not perfect at it, I'm a lot better than I used to be, and, and my life has improved a lot as a result. One of my favorite authors and, and philosophers, the late Dr. Wayne Dyer, has a great quote which, which he borrowed from the legendary psychologist Dr. Abraham Maslow. What he says is, we should all be independent of the bad and good opinions of other people. Think about that. Dr. Dyer says that we, we should live our lives without concern for, for what other people think. And of course, he's not saying that we should, we should be doing bad things, things that would hurt other people or, or hurt the planet. You know, we should always do things that are good. But what he is saying is that, that we should do things that are, are in alignment with our purpose, our passions, our goals, and, and our unique paths in life. I wrote a book called From Autopilot to Authentic. And in this book, I wrote about how I finally woke up in my mid-40s and I started moving my life from what I call autopilot which is living a life in a direction set by other people according to other people's expectations, to instead living a life according to my compass, my direction, along my unique path. Wayne Dyer's advice played a huge part in my awakening and, and, and in guiding many of the changes that I, I made in my life. Be independent of the bad and good opinions of other people. Being independent of the bad opinions of others, at least for me, that's pretty easy to understand. But, it's not easy to do. I get the point. It, it means that we, we, we shouldn't be affected by criticism. And as long as we're not hurting somebody or, or hurting something, it shouldn't matter if people disagree with us, if, if they mock us, if they shun us. We should be brave and, and authentic and, and courageous and and we should venture forth regardless of the criticism. And before I wrote my book, another author advised me to, to get ready. She told me to be ready for the book to change relationships with some people. She told me that there'd be people out there who would, who would openly criticize my book and people who would openly criticize me. Well, she was right. Not, not only did, did some people criticize my book, some people, they, they, they hated my book, and they wrote terrible reviews about it. And I get criticized from time to time on, on other aspects of my work and my life. And you know what? I, I know this is not going to stop. And in fact, as long as I continue to, to do my thing, to do my work, to do my art, the haters will continue to do their thing. And when this happens, when, when the haters share their hate, I quietly say to myself, Brett, be independent of the bad opinions of other people. But wait, what's this about being independent of the good opinions of other people? Are good opinions bad? Is it bad if other people like me and, and what I'm doing? Well, of course not. But what is bad is to be doing things in order to receive praise, to be, to be fueled by other people's good opinions. You know, doing things in order to get praise or, or other people's opinions, can, that can quietly divert your path from doing what you, you should be doing to, to doing things more for the applause, more for, for feeding your ego. Self-actualized people, the, the healthiest people, they're not motivated to feed their egos. And according to, to Wayne Dyer, the things that we do, the, the actions that we take, they should be done because they're the right things to do, period. 
Not because we get the satisfaction of, of hearing praise or, or job well done or, or even thanks. Now guys, I philosophically understand the point here, being independent of the good opinions of other people. But boy, is it hard. Is it hard to live that out in real life? Now, my goal is to get better at this day by day, to live more of my days truly independent of the opinions, the, the bad opinions and the good opinions of other people. Think about it. Do you see how this makes sense? Well, I dare you to try it as well. And if you do, to steal the words from that guy on the old, old men's warehouse commercials, if you do, I think you're gonna like the way you feel. Go for it. Thanks.